Hi guys, Melly here. Before the video starts, I just want to say that we released Tsukiomi Glitch Pack, which contains uh, 50 glitch presets, a lot of glitch uh, transitions, 70 glitch sound effects, 250 glitch overlays, a lot of textures, warps, shakes, a uh, 30 minute guide to the pack, and glitches like Z Neptune that I will be using in this tutorial. It's only $7.99 and the link will be in the description if you want to buy it, so let's get to the video. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to do like Zenith and type of uh, transitions and glitches. So let's start. Uh, get your scenes ready. So I picked like four scenes that I will be using in this tutorial. It's like uh, Sasuke versus Killer B or something, yeah. So the first thing we will do is like uh, the glitches. Uh, Z Neptune uses like uh, one frame glitches, so I'm gonna show you some of them. So, the first one I will be showing you is like uh, find edges one. So, uh, the effect you apply to the adjustment layer is called find edges. That's the first effect we'll be using, and just click uh, invert. So it, the edges look like this, like uh, black on the outside and kind of uh, bright in the inside. So, and if you, you need to make them like uh, all in one color. So just add effect called tint, put it below the find edges and change this white color to whatever you want. So let's try like uh, something like blue. And after that, we're gonna add another effect. It's called deep flow. And we'll just change the settings a bit, just turn down this exposure and maybe increase the radius a bit. So it's the first one frame glitch. The second one uh, he uses is like uh, with the effect called CC threshold. So CC threshold, it's this one. And it gives you like a black and white thing. So just, just play around with this threshold and make it however you like. So I'm, I'm just gonna go like maybe something like this. You can even invert it, but this, this looks better. And you can even like change this channel to like RGB so it has some color. But I'm gonna stick with Illumine since uh, Zenithin uses it as well. So that's the second. That's the second one frame glitch. Uh, and like, we're gonna add like one more and it's gonna be just uh, invert so okay let's let me go here just add invert effect and just leave it on default settings you can even like change something maybe this uh, channel thing like I don't know whatever but I'm gonna stick with RGB like the default one and after this you Make a new adjustment layer, put it above this, and make it uh, like uh, how long are the keyframes? So I have three frames. I'm gonna make this adjust layer the three frames as well. So I'm gonna add like effect called wave warp on this, and you're just gonna you're gonna just copy my settings. So wave type change it to smooth noise. Uh, direction we're gonna leave it like on zero for now uh, pinning change it to all edges and just increase this wave height so it, as you can see it gives you like this uh, uh, noise effect like uh, stretch noise so just increase it however you like you can go in and even in minus but that's your choice I'm gonna leave it like this and now I'm gonna animate wave height, direction, and face. So that's the things that I'm going to animate. So go one frame forward, and I can change this to maybe like direction to 90, so it goes up. Maybe uh, increase the uh, decrease the wave height. 
enter the face. I can go on the sec on the next frame and uh, change the direction back to zero, and just change the face so it looks like different. And like that's the base of the of the glitch. Uh, the thing that changes all the glitches is uh, one effect called S time warp RGB. So you put it like above the above the glitches and above the fade warp. Uh, and like make it one frame longer than uh, than the make it uh, one frame longer in the end and one frame longer in the beginning. So like this, as you can see. And now add the effect called S underscore time warp RGB. So when you add it, the whole glitches look like different. And I usually leave it on default, but like you can change the you can change these numbers to whatever you like and like maybe something like this. And now I'm gonna just cut it uh, when I don't like the effect. So here where we added like threshold, we're gonna delete it from here. So just delete it like this. Okay, my After Effects is lagging, alright. And like I can cut it here as well and change, just change some numbers, like just the random numbers, it doesn't matter. I don't also like like this, this color, so I'm gonna change it. So, okay, I, th I think this looks better. So wait no. I'm gonna actually delete it from here, and I'm just gonna change this. Or I can also delete it from here, and I'm just gonna leave it on this frame, in the last one. So yeah, I can also even duplicate this find edges thing. So control D and place it like maybe here and just change the color to let's try yellow. And yeah, that's it for the glitches. And now I can just select them all and copy them and place them here. And they will look good on the next clip as well and just duplicate them on the next one. Maybe change some colors on this one. Like instead of yellow, I can use red, maybe. Yeah, that looks good. So yeah, now uh, let's move on to the transition. So I think we should do like a normal scale right, right here. So from maybe 250 to 100. So we're just gonna graph it like this. Now, as you can see, he goes like in, in the camera. So we're gonna zoom in right here. So from 100, go to the end of the clip and like you maybe 135. Okay, that will look good, I think. Maybe like make the graph a bit softer. Okay. That's good. And now I can do like a zoom out transition. So from 135 to 100, and just graph it. And I can do like a normal zoom in here from like 230 or something to 100. Okay, graph it like that and yeah make it make the graph a bit sharper okay let's see how this looks yeah that looks nice like we can maybe do like a slide right here 
so open position right click separate dimension so we can graph it animate x position to like here and add motion tile increase this and this and put mirror edges and just graph it something like this okay and now do the slide on the next scene so we're gonna just copy the motion tile from here and we're gonna animate the X position like this okay we're gonna make it a bit like longer All right so we need to remove like this so we're gonna add like the effect called optics compensation so just click reverse and add it okay that's better okay so that's it for the transitions the next thing we're gonna do is shakes so uh, we're not gonna add a shake right here in the first scene we're gonna add it on the next one uh, and as you can see like the character goes like horizontally so we're gonna add a horizontal uh, shake we're gonna add an effect called twitch and just follow follow me what I'm doing so uh, enable slide and change the speed to like something like whatever 40 or something increase the slide which is to 18 uh, slide spread to 0 so like it goes only in one direction uh, and we're gonna add like uh, the direction to change the direction to 90 so it goes horizontal and now we're gonna animate the amount so just animate it from 100 okay wait my after effects and something like so just animate it from 100 to 0 and graph it like this You can even like enable some RGB split right here. So like it has some RGB that is not that visible, but it's still there. Just for the detail. And now we can just copy this twitch and like put it on the next scene. The next scene is also like going horizontally, so we're just gonna copy it. Uh, the next scene is kind of going like uh, upwards so but uh, we added a slide so we gonna do like also a horizontal twitch but what will happen if you use like vertical it will look good as well yeah we'll, we'll leave the vertical one so uh, I'm gonna show you one more thing that he does and is also cool that so just add like uh, uh, let's say this scene just add effect called deep glow on this scene and go to input and just increase the threshold to some like it as you can see it has less glow on some places and it looks cool so we're gonna leave it like maybe this I think this looks good as you can see like uh, his uh, hands and legs are glowing also his sword we can even increase like the exposure and we can all set it on the next scene so deep glow uh, input and just increase the threshold so we can make his like this white things uh, glow and we can increase like this this thing uh, exposure and we can also add tint to this so if we add it the glow is gonna be red so let's try something like maybe blue I think this will look cool yeah yeah that looks cool and we'll, we can just copy this deep glow to the next scene and it will look good like you see that glow yeah that's it we can add it to the last scene as well like so the, the swords are glowing so that's basically it for this tutorial 
thank you for watching if you like this like glitches uh, you can buy our pack because it has like uh, this type of glitches like Zneton uses and many many other glitches that you will uh, like so that's it for this tutorial hope you learned something new uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video so that's it see you guys in the next tutorial